Oh man, uh, I know Ravens pick uh, Demarion Williams a long time ago, but I had needed a break because it was back to back to back to back. And I appreciate y'all watching the videos, and I appreciate y'all supporting a lot. Uh, but this today, these past couple of days with the draft, it has been a lot because it is like literally nonstop. But <laughs> the, the whole NFL is about to come to a complete stop after the draft. You know that's where it slows way down. But anyway. The Ravens, uh, with another one of their fourth-round picks. With their last fourth-round pick, uh, they take cornerback from Houston, Demarion Williams. And, you know, I saw some said that he's, that he's from Miami. So, like, all right, cool. Hey, you you already on the squad, man. Welcome to the Ravens. Um, but he is somebody. He's a, uh, a twitchy cornerback. Um, you could put him in the slot. Um, so, you're, that, that flexibility, um, that, that'll be big, uh, especially... Uh, since the Ravens, they already have their primary outside guy. Now, he can play outside, too, now. He can play outside, too. Um, but him being able to play the slot, that's a good thing. Because, again, ask Marlon Humphrey. Ask Marlon Humphrey what it's like playing the slot. And ask him if uh, him staying ready so he ain't had to get ready when it came to playing the slot. Ask if that benefited him. Especially when it came to him getting his contract extension and whatnot. Um, that was big. So, this gives the Ravens some more secondary depth. Uh, it gives the the Ravens just a, another body at corner. And everybody knew. And this was one thing that when Eric DaCosta said it, he said, oh, I can see us taking taking two corners in the draft. No, I don't think anybody thought he was lying, especially with everybody that the Ravens lost at the cornerback position. Jimmy Smith, Tavon Young, Chris Westry, uh, Anthony Averitt. So you knew that. While they they probably still going to add somebody via free agency too, but you knew they were getting at least two corners uh, in this draft. And, of course, with their million safeties that they got on the roster right now, uh, you would expect some of them to play some corner too. You got Ardarius Washington coming back. He could play some corner. Uh, so they're going to have some opportunities to mix it up. But uh, for Demarion Williams, um, special teams, a lot of special teams. Look for him to be on special teams. Uh, and, again, we know that that's not a bad thing. It's just part of the process. It's part of the process. He ain't going to come out fourth round pick and he ain't going to start right away, especially with all the, the, the guys that he has in front of him. And even though it ain't so many, but he got a, a significant amount of guys in front of him. So he ain't going to come out and just start. Um, it's going to be a, a gradual process. That's why with him, hopefully he makes the most of every single, literally every single opportunity that he gets. If you're on special teams, all right, go out there and shine. Come preseason, when it's your time, go out there and shine, go do your thing. Uh, and that's tricky for rookies, man. I know we're getting kind of off subject, but that's tricky for rookies when um, we're getting sort of ahead of ourselves thinking about the preseason. It's like, man, that's when all this studying that you've been doing, all this practicing that you've been doing, that's when you really got to take your first test in front of the coaches, like your first like real, real, real test. Because, of course, you show them stuff in practice and they see stuff and they'll coach you up and whatnot. Be like, hey, that's good when you do that. Oh, no, that's bad when you do that. But preseason, ooh, that's a lot of pressure, man. That's a lot of pressure. I, I give it to these football players, man. A lot of respect for them, a lot of respect for what they do, uh, a lot of respect for the, the, the grind that it is, a lot of respect for all the work that has to be put into it. And the, the, the craziest part about it, there's no guarantees. There's no guarantees. You could work your butt off since you was a kid. Your family could put you in all the best training, all the best sports camps. They could do all the, all the best try to, to try to put you in the best position to succeed, but it's only 1% of people that make it. It's only 1% of people that make it. So that's why when people like, oh man, this guy sucks, that player sucks, this player sucks. No, they, they don't suck. It just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. So I know we got kind of sidetracked with this one, but um, shout out to Demarion Williams. Well, welcome to the Ravens. Welcome to the squad. Ravens have um, one more pick left. And you know what's actually very, very crazy is that the Ravens are proving me all types of wrong because... Like I told y'all before, I said that there was no way, absolutely no way, that the Ravens would use all 10 picks. And just to count them one by one, I think they're going to end up using 11. So first one was Kyle Hamilton. That's one. Two was Tyler Lindenbaum. Uh, three was David Ojabo. Four was Travis Jones. Five was Daniel Falele. Six, Jalen uh, uh, Moore Davis. Uh, seven, Charlie uh, Collar. Eight, Jordan Stout. 
9, Isaiah Likely, 10, Demarion Williams, and they still got one more pick. So these Ravens, they shut me all the way up. All the way up. Because I just did, I did not, I, 10 draft pick, they went into this thing with 10 draft picks, then came out with 11? And they literally used all 10, and they getting ready to use another one in the sixth round. I don't know what else to say. I was dead wrong about that. I was a thousand percent wrong. They they like they they completely went against everything that I thought that they were gonna do in this draft. Cause y'all know I was talking about a receiver for sure in the first three rounds. And that was way before the Hollywood thing happened. None. None. No receiver at all. Not not even in not even just not in the first three rounds, but not at all. We'll see what they do with the sixth round pick, but no receiver at all. And then I said, oh, all them fourth round picks they got? Yeah, they're they going to do something. They got to package them and trade up or something. Nope. Nothing. So, touche, Ravens. Touche. It's well played, my friends. Uh, anyway, I love y'all, and I will see y'all after whoever we get in the sixth round. We out. <laughs>